I'm going to switch topics, obviously, because it's that time. And this next topic is going to be the perfect thing for me to sit here and get out my damn feelings. Perfect thing, okay. Azalea Banks <clears throat> versus everybody. So, <clears throat> I'm going to briefly discuss what she did. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you guys a plethora of tweets, IGs, and everything else, and a certain a couple videos in the description box. Again, if I forget, please let me know, and I'll put them on later. <clears throat> Will be links to videos that she has done and other people have done. Okay, so you guys understand. So I'm not gonna put those videos in here because it's gonna make this even like it's gonna make it much more longer than what I intend for this to be. Okay. <clears throat> but three things first Azalea Banks she pretty much wants to sue Remy Ma for posting up a picture that appeared to be her private region and went so far as to do a screenshot and talk about revenge porn we'll talk about that in a little bit <clears throat> uh, she also wants to sue Wendy Williams pretty much for calling her a sex worker for a lack of better terms she apologized to Beyonce because she apologized to a lot of people when she just gets on social media and has an opinion. And uh, she also comes for Joe Budden and Charlemagne for what they had to say about Nikki and putting her on their trash list of the year for 2017. So, <clears throat> before I give my comments about this, I am going to show you all a bunch of fucking tweets. Now I'm pretty sure y'all probably are going to get tired of it. But I want you guys to see it. Now let's be clear. I'm not showing you this because I'm trying to hold someone's past against them. But I want to show how you can't do sh wrong to people. You can't do certain shit to people and then get mad when that shit comes back to you. So Want you guys to watch this stuff. Look at these tweets, all the good jazz and Instagram posts and whatnot. And then we'll come back and then we will talk about this.
Y'all saw that shit, right? Way too much. Way too fucking much. So here's my thing. First, <clears throat> for Azalea Banks, for you to feel so inclined to be upset <clears throat> with Remy Ma, now that's what Remy Ma did wrong. Everybody has their opinions. My thing is this, you came for, <clears throat> Azalea Banks comes for a lot of people. This isn't the first time we might have sat here and put a motherfucker on Front Street. It's not the first time. I highly doubt that it is going to be the last. I highly doubt. But I can understand, Remy, you're not going to sit here, you're not going to talk mess, you're not going to come for me and think that I'm not going to defend myself. Now, <clears throat> to be very clear. Remy didn't have to say anything back. Remy could have just let her do whatever it is she do, say whatever it is that she say, and pretty much just be <clears throat> Beyonce to the bullshit. Cause I'm, you know, I'm a, cause I'll briefly talk about Beyonce, and that's gonna pretty much like segue off of this and jump right off of it. <clears throat> but could have easily done that. But I mean, for what it's worth, I mean, Remy Ma let every let everybody ask know. You know what? Today I got time, and she had the fucking time. And if y'all forget, Remy is a fucking goon. <clears throat> and I think part of it is Remy knows that she cannot physically put her hands on anybody because I don't think she wants to be with her family any longer than what she already has. So she'll clap back the best way that she knows how. And <clears throat> yeah, this really hurt her and her mean Azalea. But my thing is this, you knew how Remy was before you even made contact with her. Now, from here on out into the future, anybody... <clears throat> That wants to deal with Miss Remy Ma. You know what you're getting into. Point blank in the fucking period. You feel what I'm saying? But we are in a day and age where. You can't say and do shit. Especially when there's technology involved. And don't think that that shit is going to resurface. You can't. It's, it's pretty fucking impossible. <clears throat> so. Her being upset. And wanting to sue. And all this other stuff. And mad that she's being called a, a sex worker and what not. <clears throat> But you didn't think twice about that when you called Zane, previous artist from One Direction, you called him a sand nigga. That is what you typed to him to let him know that's all you are. That's all you ever going to be. He, for the most part, paid her complete and utter dust. It's just like, okay, this is a dumb broad over here. And the main reason that he did it is his star shines brighter than her star so he wasn't trying to give her that time of day and i believe it's uh either sky or shay jackson i believe it's sky jackson she had time and she was mostly just trying to tell her like calm it down you're doing too much you're making a fool of yourself but you then decide to sit here and go in on this teenager and you start going off on her to such a way that is very similar to how remy ma came at you is it not because I believe that it is. So you want to sit here and sue Remy Ma for revenge point and whatnot. But Zane could have also tried to come at you for sitting here, you know, defaming him and coming at him in such a very disrespectful way. He could have really put you through the ringer. And even though you're killing your career, he could have deaded your shit. But he didn't. You sit here and you go in on a child which causes her mother to therefore come in and get your ass all the way to fuck together. And for anybody that got kids, you never want to upset Mama Bear or Papa Bear. You never want to fucking do it. Right? And there have been countless others, countless others, that she has gone in on. You're mad because Jill Scott and Common did not promote the movie that y'all are in. <clears throat> but it's hard because they don't want to be associated with anything that you're doing. Why? Because of the shit that you do. The dumb shit that you do. Her apologize to Beyonce. I, I can't speak for Beyonce. I don't give a fuck either way because she even apologized to, uh, you know, uh, again, I believe it's Sky or Shay. I'm so sorry that I forget her name. I didn't put it down in my notes because I was trying to freestyle this. But she apologized to her 
And y'all can research because I, I don't have any suits. I didn't care too much to show because I'm already showing you guys enough. But she further goes on to, in a completely different tweet, or it was an IG post, <clears throat> you apologize and yet you went against the apology. She even apologized with the whole Zane thing. But she wasn't apologizing because, you know, of what she said. She apologized because um, <clears throat> she was supposed to be performing in Europe. And they pretty much said, your ass ain't coming. Because for you to call him a sand nigga, you pretty much have come against his people. And he also happens to be from Europe. So you literally pissed off two different fucking demographics. That's why she was remorseful for the whole Zane thing. Because that was fucking with her bottom line. But you should have been you should have thought about your bottom line before you even said or did what the fuck you did. Honestly. And I can only say that because like I said I too have put myself in a situation where I wasn't thinking about my bottom line. My mouth was reckless and it is what it is. And that's one of those things where it's ever is forever going to sit with me. But I take ownership of the shit that I did and the shit that I said and don't blame anything or anyone for what it is that I did. So, <clears throat> it is just that. But I don't expect anybody to feel sorry for me for my dumb shit. Because I can't expect you to you don't feel sorry for my bottom line or my family or whatever. Because I should have been thinking about that shit before I did what I did. Same thing with her. <clears throat> you should have been thinking about your bottom line before you said and did what the fuck you said and what you did. You being mad at Wendy for calling you a sex worker again. You said the same shit to old girl. So again, I can't really feel too bad for you. You coming at Charlemagne and <clears throat> and uh, Joe Button. This is one of those where it's like, have you not learned your lesson? And also, <clears throat> there have been instances where people who have a small following come for somebody with a larger following and tend to gain more people on their train. This is not one of those instances. Because that's what it seems like you're doing. Now. I don't see it for Zayla Banks. I don't. <clears throat> but again. I'm not going to tear you down. And not at least attempt. To build you back up. So here's what I want to say first. Go on to cleanse, my, my my sister, my black queen. Go on to cleanse. Okay? Go on a social media fast. You don't necessarily have to delete your social media. You don't have to block people. Get the fuck off of every social... Get, get off of social media in general. Stay the fuck away from the internet. Take time. Get to know Azalea. What makes her tick? Why is she so angry? Why does she hate herself so much? Why is she a walking contradiction? And I say this to say, <clears throat> you have said a lot about people bleaching their skin, yet you've done it. You had a lot to say about people undergoing plastic surgery, yet you went and got a brand new pair of titties. Figure out what is wrong with you and what is causing you to lash out the way that you do. Get to know you. Get intimate with yourself. Go on some personal dinner dates. Stay at home. Journal. Pray. And I, and I understand she's, you know, I understand what her religious beliefs are. But pray. If you need to offer some damn chickens and whatnot, do that. But get to know you. Get off social media. Give this an opportunity to die down. Because, again, I didn't conjure up these old tweets and whatnot to sit here and tear you down. But I did this to say, <clears throat> I don't feel sorry for you. Because all of this is self-inflicted. Typically, when somebody does something stupid and they learn from it, they don't repeat the same actions. I can't say that you have truly learned. So, do that. <clears throat> Channel all of this. Put it into your music. All this energy that you spend on... You know, caping for somebody that ain't checking for you. All this time you spend on telling other artists you have stole from me and all this other stuff, you can be putting this same amount of energy into your music. With that, a lot of the drama that you've been in, please don't address that shit in the music. Just let, just let that shit die. Just let it die. Please let it die. Okay? 
Also, with the revenge porn thing, it's obvious that was not your clitoris. No, that was not your private parts down there. So that's not revenge porn, sweetheart. Probably defamation character, but not revenge porn. And lastly, your music career is probably dead. Your acting career is on the verge. You really need to change your attitude, sweetheart. <clears throat> but what I suggest to you, you have a nice figure. You've done some modeling. Go back to that. And as fucked up as this is going to sound, that's one of those jobs where you don't have to talk. But you have to look pretty and slay. That's it. That's it.